A lot of the guys who stepped up um, from S2 to play tonight seem to do a really good job to talk about their play. There was one guy from S2 who played very well for us tonight in the middle. Yeah, Zach Mathers, he had a very good play in the first half, uh, very involved in the second, and I thought he did very well. The Galaxy are super confident right now. Can you tell us about that level of confidence and what it's like to go up against a team that, that plays with so much, uh, you know, the, the mentality that they can come in late and do whatever they want when they want? You know, Bruce is a good coach. There's a reason they've uh, won so many uh, in, in such a short amount of time, you know, with him at the helm. Uh, they're a very good team. They take chances and they make you pay off those chances. You know, they've got a bunch of veteran players. Uh, I think they understand the league. Um, I think Bruce understands them. Uh, you know, I felt we came in and, and for long stretches of that game imposed our will on them. So I felt, uh, you know, hats off to our boys uh, for doing that. It's not an easy... <clears throat> team to to come in on the road and do that too, um, but in the end, uh, they took advantage of our errors and, and they capitalized. How important is it for veteran players like you and Brad Evans to you know like pick the younger guys up, guys like Morris who are just starting out, stuff like that? What what kind of stuff can you tell them to keep them focused Mark. on what has been? A bit of a tough it's up to them to make. It's up to us to make sure we can help them. You know, uh, the only way they're going to get better is to fail. And when they do fail, we need to be there, there to pick them up. Uh, so it's important for veterans to understand and know that and, and accept that responsibility because these young guys have a lot of talent, but it's up to us to, you know, in a sense, guide them. Well, you, know, you can't be there for them on everything, but you have to be there for them to say, hey, understand that it's okay to fail. It's okay to try things. Um, and, and, you know, we've got a good young core. We've got a good veteran core. It's a, it's a good balance, uh, but we need to come together and, and now get results. With Morris in particular, he's getting so much hype because it's for his first season and he's the national team. Uh, you know, there's hype, there's hype and then there's results. Uh, yeah. Hype was preseason, mm -hmm. uh, and now it's, it's merited. You know, he's, he's earning that, those accolades. He's putting the ball in the back of the net. He's showing how dangerous he can be. Uh, and he's a very good kid. He's coachable and, you know, uh, speaks volumes of him. Can you guys wipe the slate clean now? Is it we have to, you know. Um, listen. No matter how big or how small your contract is, you have a contract and you're a professional. This is what you do for a living. This is how you provide for your family. Um, and at the end of the season, you know, many are going to be judged on how the season went individually and collectively. And we understand that. And so it's a job. You have to come together. You have to do it for your teammates. You have to do it for yourself. You know, you have to because it's a job. It's, it's plain and simple. You know, it's hoorah, hoorah. It doesn't mean anything at the end of the day if you don't know what you're playing for.